Hello, this tutorial is an easy way to animate your characters using Blender and Unity. For those that want to know how to make their own rig, then please see my tutorial playlist in the description or click on the card in the corner. I'll be using a plugin called Rigify, but only the very basic parts of that and exporting to Unity using Unity's mechanism. Okay, so I'm in Blender with my Spartan Warrior. What I'm going to have to do first is make sure he's right in the center with the feet at zero and the edit point right in the middle. So the first thing to do is move him into that position. So grab and then move him to about there, up just a tad. My feet aren't very flat actually, which is a bit poor. I should have sorted that out, but that should be fine because there won't be any shadows underneath his feet and they'll float very, very slightly above the surface. That's probably a good thing. I press Shift S to make sure my cursor is at the center. It already was, but there we go. And now I need to make sure the edit point is at the bottom here. And you go up to the tools, edit origin, origin to 3D cursor. And there we go. Now it will match up nicely with the rig. You can actually do this at any time. It's best to do it before you parent to your rig though, but even then you can do it after parenting. But you'll get problems in Unity with animations that you bring in if your edit point isn't at the bottom there. So now I'm going to create the rig. I'm going to do it the easy way. So file, user preferences, add-ons, and I've typed in rig there, and there's the rigify add-on. This is really handy. We're not actually going to use the full functionality of the rigify plugin. We're just going to use it as a shortcut to creating a rig. So now if I press shift A, armature, basic, and then go to basic human meta rig, there's a basic rig that will work with Unity, as long as I don't press the special button down here, which is generate rig, which creates a very complex but quite clever rig for animation, but it doesn't work with Unity. So I'm just gonna use it in its basic form. So the first thing I need to do is go to the armature tab just here and go to X-ray so I can see my bones. Then I need to go into edit mode, go to the options and choose X-axis mirror then I only need to change one half. Now all I need to do is move these into position. There are a couple of bones that I don't need. This one here, just delete bones. Everything else should be fine. So let's go back to front view and move the things into place. So just select and then press G to grab and pull them into place. That's pretty much there in the front view, then just go to side view. I'm obviously in orthographic mode as well. In terms of where exactly the bones go, it does just come with a bit of practice. You'll figure out after a while where you can put them for the sake of animation. You can obviously just copy what I'm doing here, but exactly where to position them often depends on the model. So it might take a bit of trial and error if you're a beginner to this. And there we have it. Now the rig, because the cursor was in the center, its edit point is already at the center. But in case you didn't do that originally, you would then need to come back into object mode and then set origin to 3D cursor. And if for some reason you'd move your cursor, it's shift S cursor to center. Then set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now they're both in the center and that will be the floor in Unity. Now I select my object, select my rig with shift. So object first, rig second and control P. Then I select with automatic weights. Now when I click on my rig, you'll see the model is now part of the rig. So I'll select my rig and go to pose mode. I can now move these objects and my model moves with it. As you can see there. So if you want to paint your weights, make sure your armature is still in pose mode. Then select your object or character and go to weight paint. And then any bone you select, I can now click on these and it will show me the weights for that bone. You can also, in the options, click on the X mirror. So when you paint on one area, it will mirror to the other side. If I go to tools now, I can change the weight here to one or zero and start painting that weight onto my object. It's not a weight painting tutorial. I have a weight painting tutorial. I'll put the link in the description and a card in the corner now. Please remind me if I forget to do that. I'm just gonna quickly tidy this up because there's a few things that are fairly obvious. And when you're weight painting, it's a good idea to actually pose it slightly so you can see where the problems are going to occur. Low poly characters are always tough to weight paint and you will get some funny sort of distortions like we have just here with the armor. And that's something to think about when you're modeling. This isn't a particularly 
clever model for posing and I'll have to put a limit on his arms ideally so he can't move them too far. You can get away with a fair bit to be fair. There seems to be some glitch for some reason that's not mirroring so I'd have to paint in the other side as well. Not quite sure why that's happening. Perhaps look in the comments. Maybe someone will let us all know. Yep, if you have a question or an issue, quite often people have asked for the same issue before, so have a look through the comments and see if it's already been answered. And also look in the description because often there's things I can add in there as well. But I can't edit the videos very easily. So the helmet needs to all be attached to this bone so I can make sure that's all one. Put the strength up to one. It's good to have a graphics tablet for this actually. It's much easier. I'm going to leave it like that because it's not a weight painting tutorial like I said. And select all your bones in pose mode. So I've got my rig selected and press Alt R to reset them. Alt G and Alt R will reset the movement and the rotations. Now there is one thing, Unity suggests a naming convention as you can see here. This is inside Unity and I'll show you where this is in a second. I've found though that I can bring this in and Unity will recognize it even though it hasn't kept that naming convention that they've got here. But if you're having any problems you might need to have a look at this. It's under Humanoid Asset Preparation. I'll put the link in the description. But they tell you here which bones you need and your rig should look like this. So the last thing I need to do is export this. So make sure you haven't got anything else in your scene, there's no need for it. And I'm going to export my rig and that has the character model within it. So I go to File, Export, and I'm exporting as an FBX. Barton Tutorial, save that, and then go into Unity. Okay, so here I am in Unity and I need to bring my Spartan Warrior in. So let's right click, Import New Asset, and bring him in. I should bring in my materials as well. So I've just clicked and dragged the, them into here. It's worth mentioning that uh, the roughness or glossiness should be part of the color and it goes into the red channel, but I'm not going to go that into that now and I haven't set that up because that's not what this tutorial is about. So I'm gonna add a plane for our character to stand on and I'm going to bring my warrior in as well. Quickly set up a new material. and plonk that on our Spartan Warrior. In scene mode would help. Okay, so he's looking fine there. I'm just gonna move the camera around to the front as well. Excellent, so we're all working now. Now I want to bring some animations in. So I'm gonna to go to the Asset Store and grab some animations. So if I search for mocap data pack, and there it is, raw mocap data pack for Mechanim. And this is from Unity and it's free. Another one that's great is the RPG character animator and I'm going to import that into my scene. So I'm just importing these to give myself a couple of animations that I can choose and have some fun with. So at the moment I've got raw mocap data and RPG character animation pack. I'm going to put one of these onto my character for now. I think we'll go for the RPG character animation pack and if we go to animations We'll have unarmed because he is unarmed and we'll have an idle animation where he's just standing there ready. You can see what these look like by going to their actual animation here and then in the corner here press play. There he is getting ready. That would be a good one for our Spartan Warrior. Okay so I want to bring this into my character. So the first thing I need to do with my character, let's go back to my main asset folder and click on our character. When I click on him, because it's an FBX and it's got a rig, it will give you this option in the inspector. So you will need to select rig and then humanoid under the list and then configure. That will prompt you to save your work, so save your work. Then it will come up with the bones all being green, all going well. If there's any red, then there's some sort of error and you need to check that. And you'll probably have to go back into Blender and make sure you've tried to keep to these naming conventions that are all down here. Anything that's got a dotted circle around it, that means it's optional. So we have all those bones highlighted in green and we have a few of these optional ones as well. What you can also do is you can go to the muscle settings. I'll just quickly click back to the scene so you can see what's going on. Because I've got him selected and I'm under this 
avatar creator it shows you the limits of his movement and you can set limits and things in here but that's for another tutorial what I'm going to do is just press done so my rig is ready for animations so now if I select my Spartan warrior that's in the scene I press F to frame I've now got Spartan tutorial avatar so it's created an avatar for me and whatever your character is called it'll have avatar after it but there's no animation controller yet what I need to do is right click in here create animator controller and we'll call this Spartan controller and this is where all your animations are controlled what you'll need to do is open the animator window I've got mine docked here but you can just go up to window and animator just there and it will look like this so there's nothing in there at the moment well apart from these three items but I can import animations into here so let's go back to my animations unarmed and get my idle let's play that again so this is what it's going to look like and I can just drag that into there and it will become the idle animation now you can program in here you can put lots of animations and you can blend between them and obviously on mouse clicks you can select select your character to do certain things but again that's beyond this tutorial we're just going to see our character animated so let's go back to the scene add that animation controller wherever it's gone Spartan controller to our Spartan model let's just check that's worked now we've got Spartan controller in there and Spartan tutorial avatar so the avatar has been created the controller has been created I press play now and look at him go and if you want to try another one obviously come out of there back to your animation delete that one for now and see what it looks like with another one a lot of these aren't looped some are and some aren't see what that one looks like so you can try all sorts of these different ones hopefully in the future you'll be able to start controlling the animations a bit more so there we have it a quick way to animate our characters hope that helped